Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Myers. I am uh, the 2019 SAS Distinguished Educator. I have taught econometrics using SAS for over 40 years, and I'm currently Associate Professor Emeritus at the University of Akron. How do you know when your data is lying to you? That's really the point of this paper. The analyst can never know the truth. The result is all in terms of process, uh, statistical process, if you will. And a simple and thoughtless approach, I call hasty regression, is to estimate a regression model of the outcome variable and add a dummy variable. Just throw in a dummy variable, that'll take care of it. And you let that single coefficient now proxy for the entire answer. This is a terrible testing strategy leading to unsubstantiated and false conclusions. This paper highlights the need for a structure, if you will, uh, ethical use of applied econometrics, plus the ability to avoid pitfalls in regression analysis. Now, in the paper that I'm proposing, Haste Makes Waste, one of the things that we're looking at here is that a hasty regression, just throwing in a dummy variable, might lead to a conclusion like this. And this conclusion, as you can see, is D is not significant. The dummy variable doesn't have an effect. Now, an, anal an analyst might just stop at that point and that, of course, would be a crime because it turns out D has a tremendous effect. It's very, very large. So what do I mean by that? With doing a little bit of work, which will be as illustrated in the paper, we're going to find that there are two models suggested by the analysis. One's a quadratic model and the other a structural break. Both turn out to be statistically significantly different than the trend model. But that is one of the problems. Are we testing the right thing? We have two competing models, but we're not testing them one against the other. To do that, we need to introduce non-nested hypothesis testing, and that I suspect is not something that's very common. We'll also look at Ramsey misspecification test using PROC Autoreg, and we'll also examine regression selection processes, which reportedly produce the best model, um, which it doesn't. So to leave you with this, I hope you choose the paper, but I give, I'll give you a little idea here. Applied regression analysis is kind of like a puddle. And in that puddle, the novice can, can uh, wade, the expert can drown. This presentation will actually help the viewer see deeper into the puddle and discover why this is all important.